Hi, I'm Mafia from Electronic. This video will present how to program one of NXP MCU's internal flash together with external flash using SGANG. SGANG is a standalone flash programmer from Electronic. It can be used in two modes interactive, which allows user to control it from the level of PC graphical interface, and standalone mode in which device is used without being connected to PC. In interactive mode, you can prepare your desired setup. In this presentation, I will use LPC 4322 MCU from NXP together with W25Q16JV external flash from Winbond. I will now select the hardware setup. After selecting hardware setup, you can select code files which are to be programmed. I will select one code file for internal memory and append code file for external flash. You can check code files by selecting view code file data option. Now MCU and external flash are empty. You can check it by reading memory. Make sure that in setup memory options window, all memory is set both in read tab and write tab. Now click, click read button. Both of the memories are empty. By clicking Auto Program, number of steps are invoked. As can verify its connection to the MCU, erases desired sectors, writes flash, and verifies if memory is programmed successfully. You can read back programmed memory and verify if programming was successful by yourself. Let's erase the memory once again to prepare for usage in standalone mode presentation. If setup is working properly, you might want to save it to SGANG to use setup in standalone mode. Go to standalone mode, image setup, click create and save image to programmer, give it some name. You might want to check green go button pressed options, depending on the time pressed. Now the image is being written. It was written successfully. Now after power cycling the device, image will be ready to use. Now let's disconnect the device from the PC. invoke all steps of the auto program procedure from the standalone mode for example verify access you can invoke also auto program itself let's just write flash memory we know that the memory is empty because we just erased it the write was successful now let's plug back into PC and from the graphical interface of the PC application let's check if the programming was successful. Let's read back memory. It is programmed successfully.